Salinity is the saltiness or amount of salt dissolved in a body of water, called saline water see also soil salinity. This is usually measured in g salt k g c water Display style frac g text rm salt kilogram text rm c text rm water. Note that this is technically dimensionless. Salinity is an important factor in determining many aspects of the chemistry of natural waters and of biological processes within it, and is a thermodynamic state variable that, along with temperature and pressure, governs physical characteristics like the density and heat capacity of the water. A contour line of constant salinity is called an isohaline, or sometimes isohale. Definitions Salinity in rivers, lakes, and the ocean is conceptually simple, but technically challenging to define and measure precisely. Conceptually the salinity is the quantity of dissolved salt content of the water. Salts are compounds like sodium chloride, magnesium sulfate, potassium nitrate, and sodium bicarbonate which dissolve into ions. The concentration of dissolved chloride ions is sometimes referred to as chlorinity. Operationally, dissolved matter is defined as that which can pass through a very fine filter historically a filter with a pore size of 0.45 micrometers, but nowadays usually 0.2 micrometers. Salinity can be expressed in the form of a mass fraction, i.e. the mass of the dissolved material in a unit mass of solution. Seawater typically has a mass salinity of around 35 g per kilogram, although lower values are typical near coasts where rivers enter the ocean. Rivers and lakes can have a wide range of salinities, from less than 0.01 g per kilogram to a few gram per kilogram, although there are many places where higher salinities are found. The Dead Sea has a salinity of more than 200 g per kilogram. Rainwater before touching the ground typically has a TDS of 20 mg per liter or less, whatever pore size is used in the definition. The resulting salinity value of a given sample of natural water will not vary by more than a few percent. percent. Physical oceanographers working in the abyssal ocean, however, are often concerned with precision and intercomparability of measurements by different researchers, at different times, to almost five significant digits. A bottled seawater product known as IAPSO standard seawater is used by oceanographers to standardize their measurements with enough precision to meet this requirement. Topic. Composition Measurement and definition difficulties arise because natural waters contain a complex mixture of many different elements from different sources not all from dissolved salts in different molecular forms. The chemical properties of some of these forms depend on temperature and pressure. Many of these forms are difficult to measure with high accuracy, and in any case complete chemical analysis is not practical when analyzing multiple samples. Different practical definitions of salinity result from different attempts to account for these problems, to different levels of precision, while still remaining reasonably easy to use. 
For practical reasons salinity is usually related to the sum of masses of a subset of these dissolved chemical constituents so-called solution salinity, rather than to the unknown mass of salts that gave rise to this composition an exception is when artificial seawater is created. For many purposes this sum can be limited to a set of eight major ions in natural waters, although for seawater at highest precision an additional seven minor ions are also included. The major ions dominate the inorganic composition of most but by no means all natural waters. Exceptions include some pit lakes and waters from some hydrothermal springs. The concentrations of dissolved gases like oxygen and nitrogen are not usually included in descriptions of salinity. However, carbon dioxide gas, which when dissolved is partially converted into carbonates and bicarbonates, is often included. Silicon in the form of silicic acid, which usually appears as a neutral molecule in the pH range of most natural waters, may also be included for some purposes e.g., when salinity-density relationships are being investigated. Seawater <inaudible> <inaudible> The term salinity is, for oceanographers, usually associated with one of a set of specific measurement techniques. As the dominant techniques evolve, so do different descriptions of salinity. Salinities were largely measured using titration-based techniques before the 1980s. Titration with silver nitrate could be used to determine the concentration of halide ions mainly chlorine and bromine to give a chlorinity. The chlorinity was then multiplied by a factor to account for all other constituents. The resulting Knudsen salinities are expressed in units of parts per thousand ppt or per mil. The use of electrical conductivity measurements to estimate the ionic content of seawater led to the development of the scale called the Practical Salinity Scale 1978 PSS 78. Salinities measured using PSS 78 do not have units. The suffix PSU or PSU denoting practical salinity unit is sometimes added to PSS 78 measurement values. In 2010, a new standard for the properties of seawater called the Thermodynamic Equation of Seawater 2010 was introduced, advocating absolute salinity as a replacement for practical salinity, and conservative temperature as a replacement for potential temperature. This standard includes a new scale called the Reference Composition Salinity Scale. Absolute salinities on this scale are expressed as a mass fraction, in grams per kilogram of solution. Salinities on this scale are determined by combining electrical conductivity measurements with other information that can account for regional changes in the composition of seawater. They can also be determined by making direct density measurements. A sample of seawater from most locations with a chlorinity of 19.37 ppt will have a Knudsen salinity of 35.00 ppt, a PSS 78 practical salinity of about 35.0, and a TEOS 10 absolute salinity of about 35.2 g per kilogram. The electrical conductivity of this water at a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius is 42.9 millisiemens per centimeter. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Lakes and rivers. Limnologists and chemists often define salinity in terms of mass of salt per unit volume, expressed in units of mg per liter or g per liter. 
It is implied, although often not stated, that this value applies accurately only at some reference temperature. Values presented in this way are typically accurate to the order of 1%. Limnologists also use electrical conductivity, or reference conductivity, as a proxy for salinity. This measurement may be corrected for temperature effects, and is usually expressed in units of micro siemens per centimeter. A river or lake water with a salinity of around 70 mg per liter will typically have a specific conductivity at 25 degrees Celsius of between 80 and 130 micro siemens per centimeter. The actual ratio depends on the ions present. The actual conductivity usually changes by about 2% per degree Celsius, so the measured conductivity at 5 degrees Celsius might only be in the range of 50 to 80 micro siemens per centimeter. Direct density measurements are also used to estimate salinities, particularly in highly saline lakes. Sometimes density at a specific temperature is used as a proxy for salinity. At other times an empirical salinity-density relationship developed for a particular body of water is used to estimate the salinity of samples from a measured density. Classification of water bodies based upon salinity Marine waters are those of the ocean, another term for which is euhaline seas. The salinity of euhaline seas is 30 to 35. Brackish seas or waters have salinity in the range of 0.5 to 29 and metahaline seas from 36 to 40. These waters are all regarded as thalassic because their salinity is derived from the ocean and defined as homoiohaline if salinity does not vary much over time essentially constant. The table on the right, modified from Poor 1972, follows the Venice system. 1959, in contrast to homoiohaline environments are certain poikilohaline environments which may also be thalassic in which the salinity variation is biologically significant. Poikilohaline water salinities may range anywhere from 0.5 to greater than 300. The important characteristic is that these waters tend to vary in salinity over some biologically meaningful range seasonally or on some other roughly comparable time scale. Put simply, these are bodies of water with quite variable salinity. Highly saline water, from which salts crystallize or are about to, is referred to as brine. Topic: Environmental considerations. Salinity is an ecological factor of considerable importance, influencing the types of organisms that live in a body of water. As well, salinity influences the kinds of plants that will grow either in a water body or on land fed by a water or by a groundwater. A plant adapted to saline conditions is called a halophyte. A halophyte which is tolerant to residual sodium carbonate salinity are called glasswort or saltwort or barilla plants. Organisms mostly bacteria that can live in very salty conditions are classified as extremophiles, or halophiles specifically. An organism that can withstand a wide range of salinities is urohaline. Salt is expensive to remove from water, and salt content is an important factor in water use such as potability. 
Increases in salinity have been observed in lakes and rivers in the United States. Due to common road salt and other salt deicers in runoff, the degree of salinity in oceans is a driver of the world's ocean circulation, where density changes due to both salinity changes and temperature changes at the surface of the ocean produce changes in buoyancy, which cause the sinking and rising of water masses. Changes in the salinity of the oceans are thought to contribute to global changes in carbon dioxide as more saline waters are less soluble to carbon dioxide. In addition, during glacial periods, the hydrography is such that a possible cause of reduced circulation is the production of stratified oceans. In such cases, it is more difficult to subduct water through the thermohaline circulation. See also Desalination for economic purposes Desalination of water Desalination of soil, soil salinity control Sodium adsorption ratio Measuring salinity Salinometer Salinity by biologic context In organisms generally, with particular emphasis on human health Electrolytes Fluid balance Hypernatremia Hyponatremia Salt poisoning in plants Arabidopsis thaliana responses to salinity In fish Stenoholine fish Urohaline fish Salinity by geologic context Fresh water Seawater Soil salinity Thermohaline circulation Paleosalinity Cora dataset data on salinity of global oceans General cases of solute concentration Osmotic concentration Tonicity <laughs>